Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So imagine you flying your radio control airplane and with a couple of swipe on the screen, you could see the status of your battery live while flying. Check out this video for an easy setup. So first of all, in order to make it work with your X20 or X18 transmitter, you would need a voltage sensor, it costs about $20. I will put a link in the description. The sensor comes with a twisted server connector here, but for my case, I don't need the twisted wire as I will be using this connector to connect to, to my receiver right here on the right side. This connector should be provided when you buy the SRA Pro receiver, okay? Okay then, it should be connected like this. One end is connected to your battery. Make sure the sign, the minus sign here is plugged to the black Y as, as so, and you have 1S, 2S, all the way to 6S here, okay? Okay, and the other end of the sensor is this connector here, and make sure the negative sign is aligned with the black wire. And this connector is an S port connector, and it's gonna connect it to the SRA Pro receiver, and as you can see here, here it is, it's going to connect to that port right there, it's an S port right there. Right, so the setup should look like this, okay, with the sensor right here and it's connected to the battery. The other end, make sure negative is to the black wire as you can see here and it's connected to the S port of the SR8 Pro receiver right there. Right, so now we can Put this setup on the plane that look exactly like this. Let's do it. Okay, here we are looking at our airplane, the ultra stick. The battery is here in the front and it's connected to the sensor right here and it's connected the other end to the SRA Pro receiver. As you can see, that's the battery connector right there, okay? And we got the black wire marking to the negative sign. That is good. And the other end is connected to the SRA Pro receiver right there. Negative sign right there, just like the setup that I showed you before, okay? And everything looks very good here. And the blue uh, uh, light is blinking right now. That is good. Uh, data is transmitting. So let's go to the transmitter setup and verify uh, if we can see this uh, sensor, okay? So just press on the airplane icon uh, let's swipe and look for telemetry here, okay, and what we need to do is uh, turn on discover any new sensor, turn it on, and as you can see right here, the light pole is right there, 22.95 volt is detecting, so that's good. So we are ready to install the Lua script to see the voltage sensor of the cell battery on our transmitter. Right, so next we will be installing the Lua script. It is free on GitHub and was developed by this gentleman named Leo Zahavi. If you find the script helpful, you could send donation to him as I already have. Okay, then now just go to this GitHub website here. I will list it in the description also. But here is the website that uh, we need to go to. And here you need to go to the Zavionics right here. And we need to download the code here. Uh, here it has AR, battery and cell and all these uh, script, but we're just gonna do the sales only. But anyway, let's just download the zip file here, right here. Just hit download zip here and it's download to your uh, local drive on your PC, okay? Okay, so it's downloading right now and let's open the folder where it's download to, to the download folder here and it's in a zip format here. So let's just uh, open up another file explorer and I'm going to create uh, another folder, my Free Sky Radio here. Let's just create this folder here and I'm going to copy the zip file over. Okay, my Free Sky Radio. Okay, uh, let's go into there and let's just yank this zip file over and copy over there to open my lo to this, uh, to this uh, uh, temporary uh, folder that I created. So let's unzip this and extract it all. And let's change this to um, just go top to the top of the folder, okay? Like so, um, okay. And let's extract it. Okay, so after extracting, it 
have, we have this folder here. If you go under there, it has many script files, uh, but we are only interested in the cell directory script file, and we're going to copy the cell uh, onto our transmitter next. That's all we want right now. So let's go to our transmitter right now and let's just put it into bootloader mode by pressing this button first and the power button. And then you will get into bootloader mode and let's connect the USB connector to uh, the back right here. So that should mount the drive onto our file explorer on our PC. Right, so now let's go back to our PC computer. So what we have before is uh, we copy uh, the Lua script to the uh, temporary folder that I create right here. Okay, so now we mount the transmitter. Uh, we should see the X20S SD card mount drive. Uh, it should be displayed. Uh, let's open another file explorer and we should be able to see it right here. Okay, there we go. And there it is. X20 SD right here that's from the transmitter SD card and under there you can rename it I already rename it like that okay so you can rename it you want and what we want to do is under this script uh, folder here let's open it up there's nothing under there only uh, just uh, one file and go back to our uh, temporary folder over here so there are many folder Lua script here but we are only interested in the cell folder. So let's uh, copy, let's yank it over and copy it and place it under the script folder on our SD transmitter side. Then now just uh, all we need to do is just uh, uh, eject the SD card and close the file explorer and we are ready to move to our next step. Right, so let's go back to the transmitter now. Uh, so let's uh, let's pull the uh, USB connector out, okay? And after do, you do that, then now it's in bootloader load, mode. So just power off. Then now just uh, power up the transmitter as normal. Okay, just press that button, power up, and Welcome let's just skip. Those this okay with that button Switch here warning. so let's take a close up here so let's verify if we copy warning. it onto our transmitter the the cell uh, folder so go to this icon here setting and let's take a look under file manager and let's check under script that's why we copy it right there scripts okay and there we go we copy the cell directory over and all those uh, uh, Lua script and WAV file. So let's go back here to the main screen here. Let's go back to system. Um, okay, this is the main screen here. Uh, as you can see, my main screen, I have a two uh, different screen. One is to monitor the RSSI of 2.4 and 900 megahertz. And I do have a video to set up uh, how to monitor the RSSI uh, here, right here, if you want to refer to it. Okay, so anyway, let's go back and let's um, look at the main screen. So that's the secondary screen. That's the main screen right here. So I have two screens. So let's click on that icon right here. And we have two screens. So let's add another screen here. Okay, let's add here. And let's scroll down here. Let's scroll down along. And we want a full screen. Let's set up a full screen here. And let's click the change widget here. And we're gonna look for the Xavionic cell right there. Xavionic cell, and let's um, configure the widget next. Okay, let's press that. And there we have it, the widget here. And the title, I turned it on already. Okay, uh, and we have uh, all these goodie here. Uh, low cell alert, you can turn it on. And let's do. Uh, let's look up for uh, lipo sensor. Okay, we want to configure to uh, let's look. I think it's telemetry. Let's scroll. Um, let's look for telemetry here. Okay, there we go. And I want li oh, there you go. Lipo. That's what I want. But uh, there you go. Okay, anyway, let's scroll and look for lipo here. We want uh, that uh, field. Select that. 
And now it's going to be telemetry lipo. And let's go back the widget where uh, we set it up. Okay, so uh, the rest is just leave it alone. Let's go back here. And we pretty much set. So let's check, go back to the home screen here. Okay, so we have the main screen here. And let's uh, scroll along and we see the RSSI screen here. And the third screen is the cell uh, status here. We have the main at 22.94, and we have 6S cell, 6 cell each, and there we have it, right there. And just scroll along as you fly. If you want to see the RSI, you want to see the main screen, everything is there for you. RSI cell is right here. And that is awesome to have, to monitor live your battery status while flying, so to know if you need to land. So I hope you find this video helpful to you. If so, don't forget to help support my channel by subscribing. I appreciate it. And I would love to hear all your comments. Thank you for watching and hope to see you at the flying field.